similar to the mute group um, is the DCA group. And the DCA group can be found right here um, on the top of these four buttons. And I see that we already have this set up as vocals and instruments. Let's see if we can get that to focus in on there. We have vocals and instruments. Um, why you might want to use a DCA group is um, it allows you to change the volume of multiple, uh, gr multiple channels with only one channel. So I'm actually, I'm actually going to start up um, a track that we recorded previously. And I'm going to unmute some channels. And let's say for some reason uh, the, the, all the instruments are too loud. Um, using the DCA group, you can select your channel by just turning down the instruments. And rather than changing all of these instruments over here, you can change them all with just one fader. And the, the way you set those up, the way you can set those up is uh, you select this channel and it'll show you what channels are selected in this group. So let's say, um, we really want channels 14 and 16 also selected. So I will uh, select these, uh, let go of this button, and now these two channels that were previously not on the, on the uh, DCA group now are. Um, so it's not necessarily like a mute group um, where it you know, mutes and turns off the signal or you know, unmutes and you know, lets the signal back on. This just allows you to change the volume of it. And if you did have a preference of just keeping this how it is, you can also mute and unmute uh, the, cha the, the channels by selecting these. So I muted the vocals, and now they're not coming through. So I can also swap that and mute the instruments. And that is how you use the DCA groups.